Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Karlberg. Today we're going to be having a look at the Japanese yen. So as we know the yen has been relatively smashed for most of the year and it was re recording record high, record lows against most major currencies and specifically the US dollar and this was largely due to the Bank of Japan's insistence on remaining dovish and keeping interest rates low as the rest of the world went in the opposite direction, increasing their interest rates and becoming quite hawkish to fight record high inflation. And this is what we can see um, in this chart where we've really broken through multi, multi year, multi century highs almost, um, getting to, you know, a, a level that we hadn't seen really since um, almost 25 years ago. So a really, really weak um, yen. But what's happened in the last, say, couple of weeks or months is that we've started to see a relative softening of these interest rates or the sentiment towards uh, a hawkish nature from both the Federal Reserve in the States and Jerome Powell's, Jerome Powell's comments last week echoed this, and also other Western uh, central banks such as the RBA in Australia, which has also come out in recent times with softer rate hikes. And what this indicates is that perhaps there's been a move towards more growth type of assets and money is not just flowing into safe things and the green back. So now the question remains, well, obviously we've seen that this the Japanese yen has been so oversold and the US dollar yen has been really overbought and overextended. So what kind of trade targets are we looking for? So as we said, we are looking, um, you know, look at the, if we just look how overbought this is, this kind of buying in this stage could almost argue there was a divergence here, but some super, super buying. And at some point it had to come down. So as we can see, we've got a nice top here um, and we're looking for that next kind of level of support. So we'll just get rid of some of these uh, long-term resistance points. So we'll get rid of this one. Get rid of that one. And our next target is what we're currently at is about 133. And then from then on, we're looking at 125 as a pretty significant target. Now, in addition, we are looking um, at this 50 week moving average, almost like a yearly moving average, as quite a significant point and potentially a retest of this 140 level. Um, you know, maybe making a head and shoulders pattern before we see a real kind of capitulation down back to that long-term mean, perhaps at the 114 level. But there are still a lot of macroeconomic factors at play, including, um, of course, we know that central bank action is the primary kind of driver at the moment of, of the, the, U the US dollar yen swap rate or the, the exchange rate. And so we are waiting to see, we'll just extend this out again. Just having a look, um, you know, this kind of support at 125 is extremely strong and that potentially is our next point down. And that's what we would be looking for from a short, a uh, longer term option. Now, just as we move over to have a look at the daily chart, similar kind of things that we saw before. Interestingly enough, we are just hanging around this 200 day moving average, which similar to the weekly chart should provide quite a bit of um, support. And it also kind of doubles. What we'll do is we'll make this into a support zone. Bear with me, guys. This kind of area over here looks like a fairly significant support zone. So it wouldn't surprise to see a, as I said, a bounce back up. To see it, whoops. Would not surprise to see a bounce back up here and then a shift back down in the long term uh, in, the, in the longer term but guys the yen is definitely one to watch we've seen this kind of extreme selling um you know following on from this buying and looking forward hopefully to see some potential more short opportunities but just keep that macroeconomic kind of environment in mind before potentially making a trade but thanks for watching and good luck trading